I'm Thomas Goemann. I'm in charge of the in-house movement development department. I'm a trained watchmaker. I got an engineer degree and now I work in the R&D department. A movement is that part inside the watch that makes that tic-tac noise and it's the engine in the watch. It moves every single function and it allows to count the seconds, hours, minutes. It always starts with a wish, with a need, with an idea. And we created a path which met our needs in the R&D department and the whole organization. And so we start with the first concepts, build up prototypes, and then we go to series production. It takes almost three to five years to develop a new in-house movement. It starts with a small team of engineers, of watchmakers, of experts. And as the project grows, there are some people joining the team, other people are leaving the team. And at the end of the day, almost every single person, from marketing to production to accounting and sales and customer service. There's a lot of extra information hidden in the caliber number. For example, first two numbers stand for the caliber family, then the special function as perpetual calendar, chronograph, and so on. They get a special uh, number, and for us it's helpful to, to get some uh, orientation, to get some information about the movement. Uh, if we talk about the Calibre 59 family, there's the 210 for the hand-wound movement, the classical one we use for the Portofino, 360, there's the mono pusher, and so on. I'm really proud of the new automatic movement with the Moon and Tide display. We're an international watch company and we uh, like to offer watches for the worldwide market and I guess some customers who like to travel, like sailing, they're really interested in such a function. This is a brand new base movement, automatic movement with a lot of new technology inside. We kept a Peloton system because it's a really proven system. And if there's some part which is really in motion every single day, for example, the automatic winding system, then we use some high wear resistant material, for example, the ceramic uh, clicks. It's a very robust movement. We can use it for sport watches, also for uh, classical watches. He can be sure that there's state-of-the-art engineering in that in-house movement and there's also a lot of passion in that watch.